to snooker pro tips uh, this is a clip I've been asked for regarding potting the, the blue off the spot uh, to the center pocket and bringing it up in and out of bulk so we can go on to the pink now what he's actually said in the message is that he's actually potted the yellow, he's potted the green, he's potted the brown so the bottom end of the table is clear the blue's on the spot, the pink's on the spot and the black's on the spot and so again what I'm also surmising and guessing is that he's actually doing the colours practice potted the green, uh, potted the yellow, potted the green got to the brown and now he's overshot the, the actual positional shot on the blue which is a, a common occurrence when you're practicing the colours because the yellow and the green are pretty easy, they're there together so you'll either play a little screw shot on the, the yellow to get to the green or just pop the yellow and bounce it off the side pushing down the green you're always going to be on the green which when you sort of get to the brown you now start moving the cue ball uh, that's when the problems start occurring so what I've got here now is I've got three cue balls on the table and I've got the three angles which you'll more than likely finish when it is you finish above the blue obviously if it's straight you'll just run it in or screw it back depending on which hand you play with whether you're right or left handed uh, but what I've got now is a three quarter blue to the, the middle half ball blue to the middle and a quarter ball blue to the middle I know I've got the red on the blue spot but I don't fancy walking backwards and forwards keep fetching the blue out of the pocket uh, I'm not very good with the camera as it is so I don't do any editing or anything like that so what you see is what you get so the first shot I'm actually going to play is I'm going to keep it nice and simple so we've got a three quarter blue off the spot and all I'm going to do is just run it in with top don't worry about the, the corner pocket with it. when it's three quarters that's not going to come into play if you hit it in the right place so the white's just going to hit the side cushion the bottom cushion, the side cushion and then just come round nicely for the pink and you'll also note I don't have to whip this too hard just a nice easy pace so it comes round nicely and although I'm not absolutely perfect on the pink I have got a nice shot at the pink so it's not, that's not a difficult shot to play now obviously if you're a right hander sorry a left hander the more difficult shot is to take the white up and down and all this is is just the center of the white and just let the cue go through the ball nicely and bring it up something like that and you would play that if you were a left hander and you see there I have got it somewhere in the in the vicinity and if you're left hander you can just reach over and just nicely pop the pink so that's that one so the next one now is half ball now this one now is slightly more difficult if we're playing on this side of the table because what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of side now because I'm adding a little bit of side it just makes it that little bit more tricky but it's not a difficult shot to play it as you think so it's about 11 o'clock on the white and all that's going to happen is once the white hits this part of the cushion it's just going to have a little trace of side on it to bring it off and up so it's 11 o'clock on the white and when we're this side of the table that now is called running side so 11 o'clock again not a, not a strong shot just a nice easy pot you see the side there just takes it off the cushion and it's just bringing it nicely up for the pink now the other shot from this position is quite simple it's just a stun shot and all we're going to do is just bring it off the back cushion taking it down the line and back up again so just below the center again just a nice easy cue through it you see there pop it comes and now nicely on the pink again a little bit of just a touch of side on, it, on that as it's gone down but there it is, it's just nicely on the pink again and that's that shot for that one so now the last shot three quarter again similar type of shot to the half ball except what we can do because now this is a little bit thinner we just go down the white a little bit so instead of it being eleven o'clock it now becomes nine o'clock because the white now is coming a little bit further out then it comes in and then down for the pink again nine o'clock so in this side of the table it's running side you see the side there just takes up it comes 
and nicely on the pink. And then from the other side now, which is just that little bit more difficult. Here we are again. This time we've got to go nice and low on the white, so now it becomes a screw shot. And again, because we haven't got any of these colours on the table, we haven't got to worry about hitting the brown, we haven't got to worry about hitting the blue, and it's just a screw shot. No side, just a nice easy screw shot, just float the cue through the ball. See there again, up it comes nicely, and we're nicely on the pink. And that's just a couple of the shots for each one. Now what you must make sure you do is you practice it from both sides so it's nice and easy and you're quite relaxed with playing both sides of the table to get up to there. So obviously you'd go three quarters, half quarter and do it the other side as well. Just practicing, just coming up and anywhere past the blue line in this area or that area on the table and you'll be fine. Uh, and that there is that shot just made quite simple. So don't go throwing any side on it as such, just keep it nice and simple where you can. As you can see there, I've only played uh, two shots with side, and that's when I'm playing on the opposite side of the table to where I need it. It's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this uh, useful. Uh, I hope you can sort of incorporate it into your game. But you see there again, I don't have to be powering the ball in because I'm playing the right shot at the right time. Uh, it's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If it is you've got any comments, please leave them. If it is you want to send me any personal messages, please do so. Uh, what I'll try and give you with everything I do is a 100% honest opinion and an honest answer, and you'll get that every time from me. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you.